While many people on the internet are debating why Samsung still is using 8-bit displays and not 10-bit, yeah, like phones, you know, like from years ago, and I'm not talking about the OnePlus 13, it was just released globally, yeah, even some phones like four years ago got it, there is something that is even way more important for your eyes and for the way you're using the smartphones, guys. And I want to talk about this in the video. The difference between 8-bit and 10-bit colors is this hype really real? Are there any gains and stuff like this? There is plenty of information about the topic. For sure, there are some benefits if you're using a 10-bit display just because of the fact that you can render so much more colors and then eventually not watching YouTube and maybe playing games. But if you just want to edit videos or even edit photos, why not even play some fancy games with fancy settings? So there are for sure some benefits, of course. So I'm not going to even debate that Samsung's decision is to go with still these old 8-bit technology. By the way, there is a way for you to enjoy 10-bit content even on an 8-bit monitor and I'm not just specifically targeting Samsung here or a mobile. There is this thing called the 8-bit plus the FRCD frame rate control and you can go and read about this. And this point of time some people are saying that the old Samsung like S23 and 4 they do have this 8-bit plus 2 to be able to display HDR10 plus content. Not the topic of this video guys. The topic of this video is something else and this is actually related to a video I did earlier today testing the displays from S24 Ultra and S25 Ultra at the maximum brightness and when you look at these videos and I often do a lot of videos outdoors because I just want to go outside and do videos like this without a lot of preparation and editing and stuff like this just I have a feeling they're just way more easy uh, first to watch and then of course I enjoy making them like this but then also outside in the direct sunlight there are these very annoying lines across the screen and I don't have a feeling that a lot of people know about this and at the same time this is kind of like the real enemy you can see now the lines are white like this is really what can hurt your eyes and I wanted to address this but first things first what the hell is this screen flickering pulse white modulation how does it affect your eyes where is Samsung today and also where are the others of course it's the Chinese competition and the iPhone as well Let's check this article by MSI. Most traditional screens have an average flicking rate of 200 300 times per second, guys. So imagine 200 times per second is going to equal to like 200 Hz. A high flicker rate increases stability and makes the screen appear less flickery, thus making it easier on the eyes. In addition, the screen's backlight is controlled through pulse wide modulation. It's the PWM technology, which is rapidly cycled on and off at high frequencies to regulate the amount of light emitted. Therefore, if we take a normal workday that is like 8 hours per day, our eyes will suffer over 5 million flicker times per day. With a high flicker rate, some people may still be sensitive to flicker and experience CVS. <laughs> it's not CSV, it's CVS. It's not funny, by the way. It's not funny at all. It's computer vision syndromes, eye strain or other symptoms. And then the more you spend on the monitors like this, the more you're going to have problems. And, and this is pretty much really what those black lines are. So what is causing this flicker? Okay, so could be multiple reasons, several factors. Backlight, so a screen that is illuminated by the backlight. And yeah, it could be also PWM technology. And in this case with Samsung, this is what I wanted to talk about this video. How does this relate to Samsung phones and in particular to the S25 Ultra and also the S24 Ultra because remember, the screen is technically the similar screen. This is an article by Notebook Check, you can find it online. They have a proper way of testing this and they identified, this is for the S24 Ultra, that the screen flickering or the PWM detected was 480 Hz, which means 480 times a second. So the display backlight flickers 480 times in a second 480 Hertz okay so the frequency of 480 is relatively high so most users sensitive to PWM should not notice any flickering however they reported some users are still sensitive to PWM at 500 Hertz so guys how does this compare to let's say some other phones and in this case it's gonna be the OnePlus 13 OnePlus 13 has 2160 Hertz high frequency pulse white modulation okay which means that it's going to do this 2000 times a second compared to like almost 500 times the Samsung guys and also something else that drew my attention the screen sensitive read it here that somebody put the PWM Apple test at 100% brightness guys 
which is perfect. I mean, just so much information. This really seems legit. It's perfect that the data is there, but what's not perfect is that we can see, yeah, it's 492, so it's technically about the same. So it is about time for Samsung to just sit and think, hey, maybe we should do something there. And I'm not saying that they didn't do a lot of things because we have eye comfort. There are plenty of other stuff and it's standard stuff. But see here, guys, this was sent to me by a friend. He has the latest uh, Honor Magic 8. I'm not sure what model, like he's the latest Honor phone. They have incredible things here. See, Dacian 9 display, defocus eye care, dynamically display and relieve the refractive state of your eyes through myopic defocus stimulation. I don't even know what the hell this is and I'm not even sure it works, but hey, they are trying. And we do have also Xiaomi working with Tooth to certify their displays and provide really a very high PWM. This is not a case with the S25 Ultra. It's not a case with the S24 Ultra as well. You can just see 492. So it can be better. It should be better in the future. So I do believe that this is a way more important discussion than just 8-bit display or 10-bit. And I'm not saying that 8-bit is still okay because see here, guys, the Mi 11 Ultra, the OnePlus 8 Pro, they got like 10-bit displays. Yeah, so I'm saying, hey, Samsung S26 Ultra, please, let's have a proper 10-bit display. Maybe don't pay for Dolby Vision. Anyway, we got like HDR 10 Plus, but then make the screen 10 bit and just go for a higher PWM. Anyway, I really think and I really hope that this video is going to be informative. If that's the case, you might as well want to go and check some of my other videos, guys. I sincerely believe that eye health is very important, specifically for guys like us that we spend hours on these displays and etc. Thank you so much for watching, guys. VST over and bye.